All right, guys, I am back for a few minutes this morning and I thought I would take you on my little uh, journey here. Um, what I'm doing is making tabs for the page and I used my little um, Fiskars uh, uh, mason jar punch. So they're pretty, pretty simple to make. Um, I cut a bunch out of the paper, like the thinner paper, and then I put it on like a cardstock paper. Um, so yeah, uh, I just cut a bunch and cause we have a bunch of, ooh, um, the reason that is so coming out so fast is I just put new glue in it. <laughs> uh, anywho, so happy Saturday. You'll actually be seeing this Sunday. So those boys that, that watch, um, happy father's day. Um, so yeah, uh, now that I know it's going to come out really fast, I will put less glue and really spread it out. So yeah, I'm just going to go through my pile here and uh, just glue each and every one of them. I'm trying really hard not to get glue on the outside. So it just gives, the cardstock just gives it a little more stability. And I still have sleeping sleeping people in the house, so that's why I'm a little more quiet today. Um, and I got a fan going. So yeah, there's that. Okay. I'll just do a couple of these so you can kind of see the process. And then, um, yeah, it'll probably be a kind of a quick, short little video. Um, by the time you see this, most of you anyways, I will be on the lake. So my dad decided he wanted to do for Father's Day. So I won't complain one bit. Because tomorrow is supposed to be one of the nicest days we've had so far. And those of you who are in the States have probably heard the news that Colorado at least northern Colorado, has 150% more precipitation in June than required to stay out of um, drought. All of our lakes um, are to the brim. Oh, um, one of them near my house is like to capacity. Um, I saw it yesterday after an interview and holy moly is it full like full full so yeah when um i think one of the last videos I, i'm debating two um because i've already dressed um the one with you guys and that's the one you saw today um so that said I have um, I'm, I'm contemplating okay I need to, I need decorations for one of the pages um, that long tall side tuck that we did it just looks like it needs something and I'm debating I'm debating whether to um, put a stamp on it Yeah, it doesn't seem like it needs a, uh, um, like a, a cluster or anything. So, yeah, decisions, decisions, what, what to do, right? I kind of wanted to show you, like, what they look like here in just a minute kind of like on the different colors and um, this is just my porch prints the honeycomb background okay I'm gonna have my hands full today making a bunch more of these because the journals and I say plural because there's a lot of them um, are almost complete and I'm getting ready to list them um, so look for those in the shop here soon. Um, I think we probably got close to an 
enough here. I can show you how it's, um, and that's one of the other things I want to go through. And I think that might be kind of the next series is like different ways you can use your, your stuff, right? Let's get those over a minute. Though I probably should have put the pin back in my glue before I covered it up. <laughs> it's still early guys. All right, so let's see, I need this sheet. Okay, so I'm just gonna stamp a bunch of these with a little B. And you could do these like with little dragonflies too. It's no big deal. What you use, or if you had like a small little flower, that would look cute. As you can see, it's really, it, it can be really fast. Um, and you know what, as a, as the backer, um, you can use all your, uh, I call them ugly scraps. I mean, not that there's ever like a completely ugly scrap, you know what I mean? We all have those ones we don't really know what to do with. Um, go ahead and paper punch them and use them as backing on your regular paper. And I'm going to be using these. You don't, you don't have to have these. Um, they're Prismacolor. Um, it's just, I just happen to have this at the house. So that's what I'm going to use. Um, and I use the one that's got a little bit thicker tip. And it's a 05, if you're wondering. Okay, so now what I do, and this is all up to... Up to you. I just take the top here, kind of do a, a line, come down. There you go. Voila, and done. Cute little mason jar, huh? I'll have to ink them here in a minute, but. Yeah, and if you were to do a bunch of these in, in your different punches, then you would have tabs. And then probably in the next video, I'll show you how I'm organizing them in the journal. I am using a combination of these and a uh, uh, fabric clusters, which I figured you, you guys have seen fabric clusters enough. You probably, probably just didn't want to see that again. I'm trying to keep everything all fresh and new for you. Different.
All right, well, let's ink those and then we'll uh, call this a video and I will uh, finish that pile up and then we'll get started. Oh my goodness, they are so cute, aren't they? You know what you could really do? Really jazz it up. Like if you had like a small little dragonfly, you could add some like glitter. Kind of make it like little fairy lights. If you had some really tiny little like silver gems, you could really make it. Like I was just picturing like a... Um, uh, I'm looking for uh, like in a fairy journal or like if you were doing like a Tinkerbell type you could put little silver gems down in there oh my goodness that would be so cute wouldn't it bigger mason jar um, die somewhere and I cannot find it it's like I know it's in a basket and I meant to put it in with the rest of my dies and do you think I could find it nope no such luck And that is a quick little few of these little mason jars. Yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this quick little video, guys. And I will just talk to you soon. Bye.